good morning sir this is akila my technical seminar topic name is sand technology sand technology is one of the oldest type of the technology in um, it was mostly used for different kinds of testing of the sand and what are the operations that are related to the sand that all are included are coming into this sand technology this is the Sand technology has most uh, confused history and uh, sand technology which is included all kind of operations such as uh, sand mining and sand casting everything sand testing. Uh, the contents uh, we are discussed in this topic are the introduction, sources of sand, classification of the sand, types of testing, applications, advantages and disadvantages, future scope for the functions, references. Uh, uh, these are the all contents so far we have discussed in this topic. What in this what is sand? Sand is naturally occurring granule material and sand is also occurred of the divine and the materials that are occur, that are uh, present in our surroundings and it has some size. Its size is ranging from 1.6 mm to the 2 mm. In, uh, for the, um, this sand is mostly used for any kind of the purposes. Uh, sand is mostly presenting in our surroundings and it was used for uh, many kind of the purposes. The most common thing present in the sand is the silicon dioxide. Uh, it is one type of the quality in that uh, it is formed because of the silicon and oxygen uh, quartz. Uh, it is also known as a quartz. Sources of sand. Sources of sand is also known as the origin of the sand. Means where the sand is uh, origin. Sand is uh, originated from three places as a pit sand, river sand and sea sand. Pit sand. Classification of the sand. Means sand classification is difficult purpose. Difficult one. But classification of the sand is not a simple thing by satisfying some of the conditions the sand is classified as three types based on the formation based on the size and based on the composition based on the formation sand is classified as a three types as a pit sand river sand and sea sand uh, these are related to the formation of the sand and based on the size fine sand coarse sand and gravel sand and composition based on the composition it is of two three types of clean sand silty sand and clayey sand uh, another one of the important thing that uh, use of the sand is uh, the sand present in the sand bag are mostly used for different kinds of purposes uh, at the time of floods uh, these sand bags are used first pit sand pit sand means uh, it is free from the silt and it was mostly used for the motor purpose uh, it is mostly present in the forest areas and the peaceful areas uh, river sand uh, river sand means the uh, river sand is uh, present in the beds of the river uh, and it was used for all purposes uh, uh, means uh, the uh, for example the river the sand present in the penna river are mostly used for making of a glass uh, that much of valuable sand is present in the penna river so uh, the sand which is present in the river sites are mostly used for making of a valuable things and the next one is the sea sand sea sand is present in the seashores and it was present and it was in a light brown color it is generally used for the engineering purpose. Mm -hmm. M sand or the artificial sand. M sand means manufacture sand. It is also known as a crushed sand. Why it is called as a crushed sand means in the lackage or uh, absence of the normal sand, the big stones are crushed into the small small pieces or into the required size that sand is known as a crushed sand uh, manufactured sand is obtained from the specific rock so it is all it is known as a manufactured sand this manufactured sand is also used for the construction purposes 
and the next one is on the basis of the composition three types of clean sand clean sand means and it was containing mostly quartz means silicon dioxide the a sand which contains the silicon dioxide that is the best and clean sand for any kind of the purposes so uh, for the construction purposes the clean sand is the best choice silty sand silty sand means these are poorly graded sand with considerable amount of silt uh, the sand uh, silty sand may contain the silt so it was not good for the construction purposes uh, clay sand clay sand means uh, uh, it was also used for the construction purposes and it was also used in the mortar why means uh, when compared to the clean and silty sand clay sand, clay sand is not that much good uh, compared to clay silty sand is good for the uh, somewhat good for the construction purposes uh. And basis of the size of the particles, it is of three types of fine sand, coarse sand and gravel sand. Fine sand means it is in the range of a 1.5 mm and it was mostly used for the plastering purpose. And coarse sand, it is in the range of 3.5 mm, is generally used for the masonry work. Gravel sand means it is in the a range of 7.62 mm and it was mostly used for the concrete work concrete work means mixing uh, that sand is mixed with the cement and it was used for the construction purposes plastering means somewhat compared to the gravel plastering is uh, less one so in construction of the house we compared all type of sands uh, and comparing of these uh, by using uh, in in olden days sand technology is used for finding out uh, which sand is the good one types of testing sir uh, we are we are used to make testings on the sand uh, for uh, finding which that sand is uh, be best one or not so for that reason we are using seven types of the testings on the on the sand the molding sand after it is prepared should be properly tested to see that the required properties are achieved or not uh, it means that uh, we are uh, we are selecting one sand and after molding molding of the sand some of the test we need to perform on that uh, to check whether the uh, sand is achieving its properties that sand satisfying the properties or not uh, the test included are the moisture content test, clay content test, grain fitness test, permeability test, and the strength test, refractoriness test, mold hardness test, moisture contents test. In this test, sand is used to test means how much of the water present in the sand is calculated. Clay content test means uh, uh, how much of the clay that are present in the sand. Grain fitness test means uh, fitness of the sand is, is used to be calculated by using some of the formulas. Permeability test means how much of the ability that sand that sand should have to satisfy the properties. Strength test means strength of the sand is used to be calculated in this we have three types as a green compression strength and green green shear strength and dry strength this strength test may include these type of the three step three test also so by uh, performing of all the test then only we can judge whether the sand is a good one or not all these tests are coming to the sand technology every kind of oper simple operation that present that performed on the sand that all are related to the sand technology and applications in which of the applications we use the sand technology or the sand means for sand booking purposes means uh, ap government should have one online app for booking of the sand 
why means the rate of the sand has growing day by day and uh, and uses of the sand is also growing day by day for that purpose the government is used to take the decision uh, the url present in there by using of that url we are simply booking of our sand and sand is used for the construction work we all well known that sand is mostly used for the construction work with mixing of the cement sand is used uh, so in that sand also by comparing of the all sands uh, we must have to choose the best one then only the building is uh, constructed good uh, we also hear that news or uh, that like a uh, building fall down because of the poor cement and sand that uh, fall downs may happen uh, normally we are using the sand for construction purposes or in the range of 1.2 to 1.5 mm it is formed by mixing of a clay and sand with small quantities of the lime magnesia and iron dioxide 25% of the sand is said to be a good proportion different kinds of the sand are used for the different kinds of the construction purpose these are the crusher mission uh, in this crusher mission only the cement and the uh, sand are used to mixing and that was used for the construction purpose it was also sand is used for the plastering purpose and concrete working sir in both of these the silt the silt content should be more than 4% then only it was a good one mortars and concrete work why we are using sand in this in these two works means it has more strength bulk setting and shrinkage surface area because of these five qualities we are using the sand in concrete and mortar purpose advantages and disadvantages of the sand casting or the sand means sand casting is one of the technology which is included in the sand technology uh, means sand simple production process and hard made process means uh, construction purpose is a simple one uh, disadvantages is the handmade purpose like that only low cost and at the same time it was a high cost high complexity shapes and more casting defects these are the advantages and disadvantages as i said that sandbags is used that is one of the advantages of the sand and functions of the sand mortar or the concrete means a well graded sand add to the density of the mortar and concrete means good sand is mostly used for the construction purposes and properties of the good sand good sand has mostly clean and coarse and it uh, 3 3 to 4% clay is permitted in good sand 3 to 4% clay is presented not much that is not presented and the sh sharp angular coarse and durable grains means uh, uh, sand it also contains a clean silty and clayey sands properties good sand may always have the good properties this is about the sand technology and it was it has more confused history sand technology is the oldest one and it was growing day by day in coming day sand technology becomes the uh, best technology in the society and it was trying to grow up day by day thank you sir references these are the references about this related to the sand technology thank you